Welcome to the first of many Visual Studio C Sharp tutorial. I'm not going to show you how to download Visual Studio, but once you get it downloaded, open it up. It's going to take you to this screen right here. And we want a new project. Double check, make sure it says C sharp. Make sure your version is the same as mine for this tutorial. We're going to start with console application, which we're going to stick with for probably 20 or so videos. Then we'll be moving into uh, Windows Form. But let's start with console application. I'm just going to name mine oops, Test. And I personally like to save things to my desktop. Then I might move it around from there, but I'm just going to go ahead and save this to my desktop. Hit OK when you're done, and that'll take you to your coding environment. Now, ignore this. It's just a little pop-up. It reminds me I haven't paid for the little yellow circle around my pointer. Now, what I'm going to do, really quick like, is just code a small program just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And this is kind of the standard Hello World program that most people start with. That's uh, usually the first program people see and make. So console, write line, Hello World. Semicolon. Now, if this is the first language that you, the first time you've ever been exposed to coding, you probably don't really understand what any of this on the screen means. But for now, let's just try and ignore all of all of these. Ignore this and this. Oh, and you see how that just flashed up there? I did that for a reason. I need to code one more little line. And this way, you'll see it came up, and this time it, it stayed up. So this, the only reason I have this here is just to pause the program. Now, like I said, you probably don't know what any of this means. But let's just try and focus on this line. Don't let all this confuse you. You can't learn it all at the same time. We have to just take this in little chunks. So console dot right line hello world semicolon. So you can see this is actually when we ran the program, this is what we got. This this blank box with nothing but the words <coughs> excuse me hello world and that hello world is generated from this line and specifically this little snippet of text hello world that's what's going right there I mean if we were to uh, change that to hello Brian or whatever it would say hello Brian so whatever you type in between these two um, quotations is what's going to be put on the screen. So this is how you put text on a screen. This console dot right line. Now I know you don't know what console, you don't know why it's green and you don't know what this dot is and we will get into that. But for now just understand that console dot right line uh, will print out whatever you put in that that section. And the only reason I have this here is just to pause just to pause it so it'll won't just close really quick. So just ignore that. So so now let me, uh, I'm going to just save and close. I want to show you before we move on to the next one how to actually open the program as well. So right here I saved it to my desktop and this is where it ended up. Now if it doesn't look exactly like this, you did something wrong, so you need to redo it. But let's go ahead and just double click and that's going to open up two boxes. Um, this one is just kind of a bunch of source code that you need. 
Um, and there's other good stuff in there. Um, but for this tutorial, don't mess with that one. Just go right into uh, the SL SLN, which is, stands for solution. So uh, in Visual Studios, your program is called a solution. Just kind of a keyword to remember. You double click on that. It's going to open Visual Studios back up, and it'll take you right back to where you left you left off with your program. So now you know how to uh, open Visual Studios from from your pro from from a saved program, which is which is important when you're following a tutorial. So uh, tune in for uh, the second tutorial. Thank you.